Good morning, everyone. Today is Thursday, no wait, Friday, the 11th of June. I'm waiting for one of my banks to open up so I can pick up some coin. Hopefully they'll have it, so. But uh, I was on a live stream yesterday, one of my one of my favorite uh, YouTube channels that I follow, a uh, coin channel. Shout out to uh, GA Silver Hunter, Georgia Silver Hunter. I was on his live chat and he was uh he was going through some half dollars, hunting some half dollars and showing showing some coins. And uh, he asked me a question. He basically he was basically asking me that he wanted to see if I could make some content regarding um making a living off of coin roll hunting. And I said, "Okay, I'll, I'll do a video on that." And based on my own personal situation and experience, um flat out I'm going to say I took out a calculator this morning and I did I, I crunched the numbers guys and I don't do it for a living but uh I mean minimum the national minimum wage what is it between 10 and 12 15 dollars it's like a, a a fraction of a fraction of that guys it, it comes out to like for the amount of time that I put into it and um, the volume that I do and the time it takes if I didn't if I wasn't passionate about it uh, it wouldn't be feasible because it's like literally less than three dollars an hour. I I have found a lot of silver because of the volume that I that I go through, but definitely can can a person because it, it requires not only the volume, but it also depends on the region that you're in. I I'm personally very fortunate to live in a highly dense, uh, populated area, Southern California. There's literally two three banks on every corner, guys. And uh, I know with fuel prices going up, for some people that live in rural areas, they have to drive further. Fuel is more expensive for me. I have to honestly say I'm very fortunate, even though fuel costs have come up. Um, all my banks are within eight eight mile radius, guys. So I I, I schedule everything with with my regular errands, with my regular driving, and and I just plan everything out. It's just I'm, I've been doing it for almost three years. So yeah, it's it's not. For me, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. I don't think for me, I've never sold an ounce of silver. I hoard everything. I'm a, I'm more of a prepper stacker. I'm not a, a knowledgeable coin guy. I just know enough to you know pull the silver out of circulation. That's as much. To, and I've recently gotten into uh, like W quarters, and um, I've have found some errors in a bunch of non silvers that I used to keep. But I, to free up capital, I I released. A lot of it back into circulation a lot of the proofs that had scratches and let's be honest guys unless a proof is in is in mint state mint state 70 and zero scratches isn't it really just worth 50 cents so i got rid of a lot of them but yeah guys um very fortunate that i live in a highly populated area i use my time for me i'm not married my kids are my sons are all grown men um i don't have a wife or a girlfriend i love women but it's just you know divorced I, I'm, I'm living my best life i'm honestly happy you know and if it wasn't um uh, i'm just a very how should i say it i'm very tenacious person by nature i've always gone hard on everything i've done uh, i used to i love fishing i still love fishing but i love coin roll hunting more you know coin roll fishing i should say but back in the day i, I uh i had a, a a saltwater bass boat it was a tournament boat had a trolling motor on it and um uh, I, I fished one tournament one time and just for fun and uh out of 50 entries I, I got seventh place my me and my partner so i i knew what i was doing and it's in, inshore saltwater fishing guys so it's not like a, your freshwater uh fisherman that really you have to be a biologist a meteorologist you, you have to really have to be a scientist to go out there and catch these fishes in these in these lakes that have high pressure in the salt water guys you know just throw up a, a spoon with a treble hook you're gonna catch fish so i was you know i was consistent you know i took my friends out constantly fishing and uh, for fun and they always say man you should take people out and do this for a living and i thought about it i said no because it wouldn't be fun anymore it just my passion for fishing really for fishing out in the ocean would just wouldn't be fun anymore so for me to go into cornrow hunting as a to make a living i i it just first and foremost the time amount of time that i put into it is less than three dollars an hour for i've been doing this for a long time and before the pandemic i was i was doing 54 hours a week at work and i was doing more boxes guys i was doing more 
I was averaging uh, 55 to 60 boxes a week. Right now, I'm averaging about 40, 42 a week. But uh, pre-pandemic, I was going through more boxes. And it's just the luck of the draw. There's a lot of luck involved, depending on the region, depending on... There's a lot of variables, guys. And I just do it because I love I love the hunt. It's something... It's a serotonin. It's a little, the little tick that you get when you you get good news. Ooh, you just got you know some good news. You just won, you know, you just won a lottery ticket. Uh, you scratch a scratcher for a hundred dollars. You just that little rush that you get. Somebody said on uh, on GA's uh, stackers uh, uh, chat yesterday, coin roll hunting is like a, scra a scratcher, but you don't lose. It's like gambling and you don't lose. I think it was uh, digging. Dave said that. That was pretty funny, and th and it's true. That's why I like it because I'm. It's not a loss. I only pay 50 cents per silver coin that I find and everything else goes to the bank and I just recycle that money. So I'll make this pretty much short. Don't want to make it too long. In my opinion, no. Uh, coin roll hunting is not a feasible way to make a living. Um, there's too many variables, too much expense, fuel costs, driving, depending on the region that you're in. So for me, not feasible. And uh, if I ever do have to sell any of my silvers because there's a financial need and right now I thank God I don't have a financial need um, I got into uh, stacking silver more as a prepper to, you know we all wh why we all have it is to preserve our spending power not gonna make us rich unless you're in mining stocks and all these other things but with the world the way it is now guys it's just a, a great way to stack silver at face value and that's I'd rather do that I used to be into uh, semi numismatics and paying the high premiums, and those are beautiful coins to look at, and I have a lot of those. But I'd much rather find an old, dirty, beat up forty percenter than than paying all these premiums for all this. To me, uh, constitutional coins that have a lot of nostalgia and history, and part of American history, and it's just I love that. I love to see these tarnished coins and all that. But anyway, I'm getting long winded. Thank you for watching, GA uh, Silver Hunter. Thank you for uh, challenging me to make this video. I'm not the most knowledgeable coin guy, but I am um, I am very tenacious, and I and I'm not gonna say I I, I hunt the hardest out there, but I, I'm just crazy. I go hard, you know, and, and I've always been this way with anything I do in life. But um, thank you for watching, guys. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. All right.